What's up guys, thanks so much for tuning back into my channel once again. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And on the subscribe button is a little bell. Click on that bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest content when I put it out. Boredom. It's the reason I made this video and probably the reason you're watching this video. Now out of boredom, I found myself looking for something to do, something to kill the time with. And so I decided to sharpen my product photography skills and see if I can take a bottle of something, some kind of product of some kind and make it sexy using nothing more than the gear that I have and my iPhone. And I was pretty surprised with what I got and so I decided I should show you. I should share with you what I did and how I did it so you too maybe can make your own using just your iPhone. And so uh, then I'm also going to show you how I made this uh, Jack ad that you saw at the beginning of this video, which was pretty fun, pretty cool. And so uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, let's start with the basics. Step one, first I got my ass out of bed, which is really important if you actually wanna get shit done. Then I brushed my teeth, do away with my doo-doo breath, and got to thinking about how should I do this? Then I got to work. I got my phone, a couple LED light panels, set a dark background, got a spray bottle of water, small stand, and a phone clamp thing to keep my shots consistent. Next, I set a light panel on each side of my space and manipulated the built-in flaps to narrow the light into strips on each side of my subject. I then put a third panel over top to light the front of my subject. These panels are pretty cool because you can control how much light it puts out with switches and a power dial. You can also change the color temperature and diffuse the light with the color and diffusion panels it comes with, which can be pretty useful. Next, I set my phone into the clip mount that on a small stand, and set up my angle I want to shoot it. Clamp and stand are optional. You can just prop your phone against something sturdy instead. Next I made a few adjustments to my phone's camera. I enabled the auto HDR option in the menu setting, set my focus box over the brightest part of the shot, and held my finger on it until it said AE slash AF lock. Then I dragged the little sun icon down until the shot was more low key and to my liking. Next, I sprayed water mist on the bottle until I got that just pulled out of the old ice cold cooler look. Set a three second timer on my phone and started shooting. Once I got the shot I want, I go into editor, edit for even deeper blacks. slap a couple lens distortion effects, and there I have a pretty sweet shot using just my iPhone. Now to shoot this video, I use all the same elements with the only difference being that I added a DSLR, macro lens, mini dolly, jib, and fog. Now because these lights are LED, my light is continuous and consistent. I get the same look as I had before with my iPhone, but I don't have to worry about flicker or the banding that comes with using traditional fluorescent light, which is pretty cool. Now I took my time playing with different angles. Kept what I liked, cut what I didn't, added some music, some lens distortion effects, and voila! My Jack the backlight scene was pretty easy to do. I just put one of the panels behind me, filled the room with fog, and shot the scene with all other lights off. The fog naturally diffuses the light so it gives that cool ambient silhouette effect. Fart not included, unfortunately. These panels in particular are great for product photography, single subject interviews, back and fill lighting, and for making YouTube videos of your own. Plus, they're affordable to boot. If you want to get a couple of these panels of your own, I left a link with where you can get them in the description box below. Now, if you're looking for something with more power and that also has a mobile battery option, bigger LED panels with more beads may be a better fit for you. 
I would recommend the Fovitec Studio Pro panels. I use their 1200B panels for weddings and pretty much any project that calls for strong key light. Link to that in the description as well. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And on the subscribe button is a little bell. Click on that bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest content whenever I put it out. And that's, as they say, is that. Thanks for watching.